Baba Booey. Hooray! For those of you who haven't ever met me before, my name is Embers of August. I do Let's Play content on Twitch and YouTube. There's a fat glare coming off this light next to me. On our Discord, we have polls, uh, community polls that people can vote on content they want to see. Well, the last poll that we had, they voted on wanting to see the Mass Effect series, so we're actually streaming that on Twitch. If you want to see more of our content and you want to be part of that, the link is down below in the description of the YouTube video that you're watching right now. Join that as long as you obey the rules, everything's good to go. But as we are playing Mass Effect 1, uh, we have decided to take on the, uh, the, the role of Commander Shepard, sort of like going down the rabbit hole, I am Commander Shepard, I think. In the previous stream, we started the game, and we're currently on the Citadel, doing all of the little side quests before we leave, so that when we stream next, we can just pick up, go, and be about the rest of, of the game. So if this is content that you want to see more of, feel free to follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, hit that like, hit the subscribe, be part of the video, maybe you see some funny jokes, maybe you don't see any funny jokes. But without further ado, let's get into the video. See you guys at the end. So last time we left off, we were doing some of the uh, side quests. We did the um, Hanar Prophet side quest, but we're actually going to be getting into most of the things we forgot about last time, so let's get right into it, dude. I believe there's a quest up here. You can talk to Zeltan, I think. Yeah, this is this is what the uh, Asari Consort. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Where can I find this Asari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Alright, see you later. We'll be cutting out a lot of the walking segments as well. Oh look, another one. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. The expensive you bar, you say? I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Me when I once again stroll into an expensive bar. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. Help! That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attack, respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Is this what I'm out there fighting for? A government that steals the bodies of its honored dead? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. 
Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. All right, that should be it. Let's go back to Bati and see what happens. Welcome to the Presidium. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will re It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. I think the Asari Consort's gonna be down this way, so we'll just head on this way. I haven't started the Keeper's Quest, but we will get there. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the Consort will be able to meet with you? Yes. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. Me when Shepard is down bad. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Uh, go, 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 go. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I like how they're just running some sort of like, it seems like an innuendo, this whole thing, the consort. But like she said, most people just go in there and like get advice. Literally could not be me. All right, I think I have everything that's on this first area here. We're gonna do one last pass, let's see. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. All right, all the way to CSEC. So we've already picked up Jalit's quest and we need to go find his partner. Chorbin. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage.
Yeah, that's a pretty good, like, shoring up there at the end of that quest. That's awesome. All right, up this way. Just get a little chat, Emily Wong. Word on the street is that you've been busy. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Another good deed. Now, if I remember correctly, Shorban should be here somewhere. Like, down below. There he is! Hold it right there. Just throw me the data and you can walk away. Who are you? What do you want? You know who I am. And I know you're stalling. I'll ask you one more time. Give me the data and you and Jalid will live to see another day. There's no need to let things get out of hand. Fine. Have it your way. Boys. Give up! Please don't kill me! What's so important about this data? Why are you trying to get it? I thought you knew. He said you were going to deliver it. And what exactly was I supposed to be delivering? It's the initial data from scanning the keepers. You see, we stole some research from our work to make the scanners. We were supposed to work together. I get the data, he analyzes it. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. But it doesn't matter now. I just want to live. I don't care if I ever see that data again. So how do you gather data on the Keepers? It's not difficult, really. Just get within range and scan them. You seem interested. Enough to help me, perhaps? How could I help you? I'll give you my scanner. Whenever you see a Keeper, scan it discreetly. My database will update automatically each time you scan a unique keeper. Then I'll update your account with a few credits. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. We need to pick up the one for Rita's sister in Flux, and then there's one more in Medical as well. To Flux, this way. It's out of my head. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. 
Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, now we're on our way to Cora's Den to talk to Jenna. There she is. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Man, I love it when they play coy. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. Alright, Chellick is going to be the next thing we talk to. He's probably going to stop us as we leave. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. And then last thing before we leave Chora's Den is General Septimus. Commander. <laughs> I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut. Go away. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? I'll do anything for a coin, damn the consequences. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. All right. So back to Zelton. Then we're gonna probably hit up uh, Chelik after we hit medical. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Alright, on to medical. So 
so we're going to medical and we are going to be finishing up uh, a Dr. Michelle's quest. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Alright, that was Michelle is safe. Now we're going to go into CSEC to visit Chellick. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Detective Chellick, come into my office. Oh, no offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Excuse me? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. All right, and now Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. So one last thing to the markets, and then we're gonna find all those pesky keepers. Welcome to the Grovel Zone. If you would like to support the channel, and uh, help us in any way, Please feel free to follow us on Twitch to see all of our live streams. We do most of our stuff on Twitch. It also gets uploaded to YouTube. We're trying to grow YouTube, so if you want to help us grow YouTube, hit that like or subscribe button if you would like the content that you're seeing right now. If you want to see more of it, that's the place to be. And also, if you want to come tell us how we're doing and be part of the streams or part of the content, please, please, please hit that Discord link, which is in the description of the video, and join the Discord and come by and say, hey, come by and say, uh, you know, like, uh, you suck. Just come by and say, you're good, you know? If you say you're good, I'd be like, yay! If you say you suck, I... I might snap. Alright, so we're gonna finish up here. We're gonna talk to Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. It's a sting! Bastard set us up! The hell are you playing at? <laughs> Could you imagine if I was like, eh, eh, just kidding. Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy. Stupid ass army boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> and see what we won. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Jax needed killing. Here's your shipment. Damn it! 
I've got to get on this right away, before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. You know, in hindsight, that probably was the most renegade thing. Hmm. Oh well. So there's one last one in flux. Which is, uh, Shells. There's a guy named Shells, a Salarian scientist. Here we go. He's getting thrown out of the bar. you tossed out of there. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. And yet here you are, cheater. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. Okay, time to go get thrown out of a casino. Only high stakes Quasar, or you're not really playing Quasar, am I right? five wins with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm gonna get the system completed. So we need to speak to Shaira, the Asari consort, and then it's on to the freaking Keeper's quest, and then we are about this...